The Kardashians are a fictional extraterrestrial species in the American science fiction franchise Star Trek. They were devised in 1991 for the series Star Trek, The Next Generation before being used in the subsequent series Star Trek, Deep Space Nine and Star Trek, Voyager. The writers of The Next Generation introduced the Kardashians for the fourth season episode, The Wounded. The species was devised to be new antagonists for the crew of the USS Enterprise D, ones with whom the protagonists could interact. The other major antagonists of the next generation, the Borg, lacked personality or individuality, hindering interpersonal drama. In the series, which is set in the 24th century, the Kardashians are presented as living under a military government controlling an interstellar empire, the Cardassian Union. They are depicted occupying other planets, most notably Barja. When the spin-off show, Star Trek – Deep Space Nine, was launched in 1993, its writers set its events in the vicinity of Baja in the aftermath of the Cardassian occupation. The Kardashians remained major antagonists throughout the series, with the Cardassian characters Elam Garrick Andrew Robinson and Gul Dukat Mark Alimo being recurrent. Topic. Concept history Topic. Star Trek – The Next Generation Topic. The Wounded (1991). The Kardashians were invented by the writers of Star Trek – The Next Generation for the show's fourth season episode, The Wounded. The story was written by Stuart Chano, Sarah Chano, and Cy Chermick, while the teleplay was written by Jerry Taylor. The episode was first screened in January 1991. The episode's script related that the Cardassian Union and the United Federation of Planets—of which Earth is a part—had been involved in skirmishes for many years but had signed a peace treaty. Its plot begins with the revelation that the USS Phoenix, a renegade Federation starship under the command of Captain Benjamin Maxwell Bob Gunton, has begun attacking Cardassian targets, because Maxwell is convinced that the Kardashians are rearming for a war against the Federation. The USS Enterprise D, the starship captained by Jean-Luc Picard Patrick Stewart, is sent to stop the Phoenix, with the Cardassian Ghoul Masset Mark Alimo coming aboard the Enterprise to assist. The design of the Kardashians was undertaken by the series costume designer Bob Blackman and makeup designer Michael Westmore. They sought to give the species a snake-like appearance. Westmore was inspired by an abstract painting he had seen in a Ventura Boulevard store which featured a wide-shouldered woman with what looked like a spoon on her forehead. For this episode, several Kardashians were depicted wearing helmets, something that was never again done in the franchise. Blackman and Westmore's designs also gave Gull Masset facial hair, the only time a Kardashian would be depicted this way. Rick Sternback designed the Kardashian spaceship used in The Wounded. He initially proposed a pod-shaped vessel, before replacing that with a design resembling a scorpion, and then one based on the Ankh symbol. Sternback later noted that, "...the Galore class started with an Egyptian Ankh, given how they the Kardashians were like the pharaohs to the Bajoran slaves, but you don't really see the basic shape unless you look straight down on the vessel." The little disruptor pyramids were a bit more obvious, as were the temple type structures on the ship's backbone, and the sandy yellow shades. Miretsky and Tom Hudson then built the model from Sternbach's design. On art department maps, the Cardassian Union was placed west of the United Federation of Planets, while the Klingon and Romulan empires were presented to the east of it. For this episode, the designers displayed Cardassian weapons firing a pink discharge, although in later episodes this would be changed to amber. Alimo's appearance as Gull Masset in The Wounded made him the second actor, after Mark Leonard, to have played three separate alien species in the Star Trek franchise. In earlier episodes, he had portrayed an Antican, Lonely Among Us, and a Romulan, The Neutral Zone. He would later portray a human in the Next Generation episode, Time's Arrow. Before gaining a recurring role as the Cardassian Gul Dukat in Star Trek: Deep Space Nine. Topic: <laughs> Later episodes, 1991 to 1994. In the fifth season episode, Ensign Row, 
Written by Rick Berman and Michael Piller and first screened in October 1991, the Bajoran species were introduced. The script explained that the Kardashians annexed the Bajoran homeworld called Baja. 40 years previously, with many Bajorans fleeing their planet as refugees and often fighting back with militant tactics. Ensign Row was the first episode in which the Cardassian warships were introduced as being galore class vessels. Although it had not been intended at the time, the situation between the Kardashians and Bajorans laid the groundwork for the plot of Star Trek Deep Space Nine. The Kardashians were central to the two part sixth season episode, Chain of Command. Written by Franca Batemarco and screened in December 1992. In these episodes, the Federation have gained intelligence that the Kardashians are developing a genetically engineered virus on a deserted planet. Picard is sent on a mission to infiltrate and destroy the weapon but is apprehended and tortured by the Cardassian Ghoul Madrid David Warner. Chain of Command Part 1 included the first mention that the Kardashians' homeworld was called Cardassia and also included the first mention of the Cardassian Union as the name of their interstellar state, with previous mentions being of the Cardassian Empire. The script for Chain of Command Part 1 also introduced the news that the Kardashians had withdrawn from Baja. This set the stage for the events of Star Trek – Deep Space Nine, which began airing a month later. The show's designers first included the Kardashians' hand weapon in this episode, with Sternbach describing its appearance as being like a copper-colored banana. The second part of Chain of Command provided a brief history of the Kardashians and their military government. The Kardashians also appeared in the sixth season episode, The Chase, written by Joe Menivzi and Ron D. Moore and screened in April 1993. In this episode, it is revealed that humans and Kardashians, as well as the Klingons and Romulans, are all descended from an ancient species that seeded many planets with life. In the seventh season episode, Journey's End, written by Ronald D. Moore, it is explained that the treaty between the Federation and the Kardashians left various Federation planets in Cardassian territory. Many of these Federation colonists refused to leave. The presence of these Federation colonists and their struggle for independence from Cardassian rule formed a recurring plot theme for both Deep Space Nine and Voyager. Journey's End was the first time that Cardassian communicators were featured, these were designed as affixed to the actors' wrists. The conflict between the Kardashians and these rebel colonists, known as the Marquis, was again used as the basis for the penultimate episode in the series, Preemptive Strike which was written by Naren Shunker and René Echevarria and directed by Stuart. Topic. Star Trek – Deep Space Nine Launching the new series, Star Trek – Deep Space Nine, was the pilot episode, Emissary, written by Rick Berman and Michael Piller. For this episode, the writers focused in on the aftermath of the Cardassian departure from Baja. The premise of the series revolves around the Federation taking control of Deep Space Nine, a Cardassian-built space station orbiting Baja, at the request of the Bajoran Provisional Government. In Emissary, the station's new Starfleet commander, Benjamin Sisko Avery Brooks, is visited by the Cardassian who formerly served as Prefect of Baja, Gul Dukat Alimo. Alimo had played a different Cardassian character in The Next Generation, he was brought in to replace the actor formerly cast as Dukat, whose performance had dissatisfied the creative team. Ira Bear recalled that, "...it was either Mike Piller or Rick Berman who finally said, let's get Mark Alimo, who had done a bunch of TNG episodes for them in the past. Mark came in and, of course, he was Gul Dukat." Later in the season, the show's creative team included another Cardassian-themed episode, Duet. Written by Lisa Rich and Jean Carrigan for C as a bottle episode, it featured the arrest of a Cardassian believed to be guilty of war crimes against Baja, Armin Mariza Harris Yulin, and the relationship he developed with the station's Bajoran second-in-command, Kira Neris Nana Visitor. The dialogue given to Mariza was an early example of what the writers came to call Cardassian monologues. Bear stated that Kardashians love to speak. Garrick loves to speak. Anabran Tain loves to speak. Dukat loves to speak. Very slowly. And certainly Marisa loves to speak. <laughs> In cosmology 
In cosmology, the concept, Cardassian expansion, is a term used for a modification to the Friedman equations. It is named after the fictional Star Trek race by the original authors, Catherine Fries and Matthew Lewis. In their 2002 paper, which has been cited more than 330 times, a footnote on the Cardassian term states, too the name Cardassian refers to a humanoid race in Star Trek whose goal is to take over the universe, i.e., accelerated expansion. This race looks foreign to us and yet is made entirely of matter. See also The Star Trek Encyclopedia <laughs>